Hello and welcome, my name's Ali A. Today we've actually got a separate trailer for the brand new extinction map called Nightfall. This is the first episode, as they're calling it, of a four episodic series, with each episode being released within the four map packs across the whole year for Call of Duty Ghosts. This map, this specific extinction map, is going to be released as a part of the Onslaught DLC. It's coming out in less than a week now. It's coming out next week on Tuesday, the 28th of January. I actually did another video talking about some DLC information. We got images and gameplay of the new maps, uh, so you can check that out within the description as well. That was early this week, but I'm really glad to see this. They're giving like more of a storyline, more of a sort of background information to what's actually going on with this extinction mode, why the aliens are here and everything. So I think it's very, very cool. But if you go on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll jump straight into the trailer and then we'll come back afterwards with more information. outbreak in Colorado was only the beginning. We thought the aliens had been destroyed. But samples were smuggled out, taken to a research lab in Alaska. Those samples were alive. Now we're discovering how they adapt. they came from, and worse, what they are going to do to us. So what have we just seen there? Well, we now know that the new Nightfall map will be continuing on almost directly from the very first Extinction map that you actually get on your disc for Call of Duty Ghosts, where basically everything started off. We thought we'd finished it by setting off a nuke, and that's what happens if you complete the very first Extinction map. But obviously these samples have been taken to this place in Alaska. Some of them were still alive, and it set off another chain sort of reaction in a way, and chain sort of uh, bringing back of all of these crazy aliens, and all of them have developed, a lot of them have become stronger with new abilities, and I've talked about this before, one of the aliens as it jumps will actually disappear and almost teleport in a way um, so while it's in the air, you you can't see it. it, it vanishes, you've got to kill it basically when it's on ground level which is very very crazy, now one of the things which I'm really liking from this trailer is a lot of cinematic experiences, a lot of cinematic clips that are obviously not directly taken from um, somebody actually playing the game, they're actually a video sequence and I'm hoping that this is going to be included within the map and we're going to be getting some sort of video introduction um, maybe even cutscenes as you play throughout the map, and then a video ending as well, sort of get, sort of giving it a sort of storyline. That's assuming that, of course, this map is the same as the very first Extinction map, where you can get to an end point and essentially complete the map. And I would really like to see that. I think it gives the whole Extinction mode more of a storyline behind it, and it basically engrosses you more in, in what's going on. So that's very very cool. Uh, as I said, we do get that new alien which jumps in the air and sort of disappears and teleports, which is crazy. We get to see again this new weapon which I'm very glad we're seeing. Um, I think the addition of new weapons each time we got a new zombies map was awesome. And the fact that they seem to be doing something similar with Extinction Mode is very, very cool and the weapons look awesome. The way in which the weapon acts is it's almost as if it's a sticky grenade launcher. Um, it fires out this this green sort of blubber of, so I think it's actually um, alien blood, and it sticks to um, either an enemy alien or sticks to the wall, then explodes with the effect of a sort of grenade. So it looks very, very cool. 
Um, and then at the end of this actual trailer clip, we get a look again at this massive scorpion spider alien, which is massive and absolutely crazy. And I believe that will probably be what we will find towards the end of the map, as sort of like the big boss, the big thing that we need to take on. And I'm in, in no doubt that uh, the new weapon will help us there for sure as well. Now, I'm very excited for this. Of course, there are other multiplayer maps that will be linked in with this. There's going to be a new multiplayer weapon as well. I've talked about this in a video a few days ago, so if you've missed that, check it out in the description. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this new Extinction map. I'm thinking it looks a lot bigger and a lot better than what we very first got with the launch of Call of Duty Ghosts. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and check out any of my other videos on screen here, including a video I actually got KEM'd against while playing Call of Duty Ghosts live. And also another video over on my second channel. So cheers for watching, guys. Not long now to his DLC launches, and I'll see you guys on my next video.